This problem will require trigonometry to solve, more specifically, the law of cosines. Let's say you're biking at a point B that's near Mount Rushmore that we'll say is located at point A. And there's an information board that states you are currently 10 miles away, 10 miles away from the base of the Mount Rushmore monument. Now at this moment, angle ABC is measured and found to be 14 degrees, 14 degrees. You continue biking towards point C in a straight line. And if you ride in a straight line to point C, the biking app on your phone indicates that you've traveled six miles from point B, six miles from point B to point C. Now the question here is, is at this moment, how far are you exactly from the base of the monument? How far are you currently at point C from the base of the monument for Mount Rushmore, which is located at point A? Again, this is a trigonometry problem that will require the law of cosines to solve. Let's solve it now. This problem can be represented as a triangle, and we know three parts of the triangle. We know the length of a side, we know an angle, and we know the length of a second side. More specifically, we know two sides and the included angle. We know a side, an angle, and another side. And if you're given a side, an angle, and a side of a triangle, the other parts of that triangle can be found only using the law of cosines. The law of cosines. The law of cosines states that b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2 times a times c times the cosine of b. Now in this triangle where the vertices are labeled a, b, c, the side across from angle A, I'll label with a lowercase a, and that's what they're referred to in the law of cosines. Across from angle B is side B, and across from angle C is side C. So the law of cosines states that B squared is equal to the two sides that we know, A squared and C squared, minus 2 times A times the cosine of angle B, which was also measured and found to be 14 degrees. Substituting the values into the law of cosines, we see that b squared is equal to 6 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 6 times 10 times the cosine of 14. Now the cosine of 14 degrees will be an irrational number. I'm going to wait to do that calculation till the very end because I'll have to approximate that, but I can evaluate 6 squared and 10 squared, 2 times 6 times 10. 6 squared is 36, 10 squared is 100, and that sum is 136. 2 times 6 times 10 is 120. And this expression, 136 minus 120 times the cosine of 14, is equal to b squared. So b would be equal to the square root of that expression the square root of 136 minus 120 times the cosine of 14. Again, the cosine of 14 will be irrational, and the square root of this expression certainly will be irrational as well. I'll round that off to the nearest tenth and find that b is equal to 4.4 miles. The distance from point C to point A is approximately 4.4 miles.